I'm Elizabeth English and I'm Associate Professor of Architecture at the University of Waterloo School of Architecture in Cambridge, Ontario. So I was working in Louisiana when Hurricanes Katrina and Rita happened. This flooded 80% of the city of New Orleans. Um, in some places as deep as uh, 12 or 15 feet. There have been a couple of neighborhoods um, that have had enormous difficulty recovering and the Lower Ninth Ward is one of those. One of the issues is that the Federal Emergency Management Agency called FEMA has a preferred flood mitigation practice, which is taking a house and putting it much higher off the ground on stilts. Permanent static elevation not only disrupts the, the front porch culture uh, and the way of life, it also doesn't provide sufficient protection in an extreme event. What the Buoyant Foundation project is, is a strategy for retrofitting the traditional shotgun houses in uh, New Orleans or South Louisiana with a type of amphibious foundation that I call a buoyant foundation. An amphibious foundation is uh, a foundation on a house that will allow it to sit on land like an ordinary house most of the time, but on the occasions that there is flooding, um, the house will rise up, sit on, float on top of the water, uh, just go straight up, uh, stay on top of the water as long as the water is there, and when the flooding recedes, the house comes straight back down and ends up exactly where it started out. The idea of amphibious housing is not new whatsoever, but what I have contributed is to take a form of housing that has not been recognized and worked very hard with the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, to encourage them to change their policies to allow the use of amphibious housing. Um, I've also taken the basic concept that has been used for decades in the backwoods in Louisiana and made it code compliant, fully engineered, and also made it aesthetically more appropriate for an urban environment. I and several students built a prototype at Louisiana State University in the summer of 2007 and carried out a number of uh, flotation and stability tests on this prototype very successfully. What we're trying to do is take an existing community um, that has reasons to stay, very, very good, strong cultural reasons to stay in the same place and make that community safer.